Hello everyone, hope you found it doing great. Welcome to Leo's Tech Channel. If you're new here, welcome and I'm so happy to see you all once again. Exactly the good question is how many watts, how many EPC unit do you really need for your server room in order to have very stable and stable uh, network and I can say operating system as well. So as you look at my picture, I'm a big fan of designing, building, implementing, testing and documentation of whether it's in the server room or data center as well. So the reason was at, that I share my picture in here, if you look at here, I have designed the network rack as well. Guys, if you're if you're a witness of that overall, we have two types of racks. We have a network racks and we have a server room racks as well. Before you go ahead and purchase an APC unit, one thing you should keep in your mind is that we have a rack size APC unit as well. Make sure to purchase a rack size APC unit. This is the task number one. Now, if you have a server, so let's move on with the chapter. I didn't want to eat up your time. All right, so here is the chapter. So here is the lecture. It's very important. I need your attention as well. And later on, we're going to calculate as well. For example, if you have a five server, if you have a 10 server, if you have a router, if you have a firewall, if you have a modem, anything that you just need to know, like have like how many APC unit do you need and how many watt that it's supposed to be in order to have a very stable uh, server room or even if you have a, I can say 24U or 60U uh, like racks uh, that mounted in the wall. No worry, and I wanna share everything in here as well. Look at in here, guys, in the left side, we have a desktop list. For the PC, this is only for CPU unit. The, the 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 CPU unit that you have, or, or we can say uh, central process unit, it is not attached, monitor any external anything, just CPC with uh, APC, sorry, uh, CPU, uh, it is only for your whether it's desktop or tower top, uh, we need 120 watt, just 120 watt for that specific. These are the minimum things keep in your mind, for example, before you. Go ahead and before you move on and purchase the APC unit, my suggestion is to please have attention on this lecture. So for the PC, it's clear 120 watt. For monitor, you need 60 watt. And for external drive, whether it's external hard drive that you're using or any devices which is uh, need to plug to your computer and meanwhile, you probably need to connect uh, that's come with a power adapter. You probably need to connect it to when you to the APC unit and so on. While it's after 10 watt, I have to say wait a, wait, a, wait a second because it's okay. These are the minimum, but we just let's just keep it. So this is what you have. For example, you have a one PC monitor, external drive, and one wireless router. So the general you need two 10 watt. This is a total. This this is for traditional computer, regular computer that you have at home, or we can see on your desk. But when you go to the server room, when you go to the server room, the story is different because server is it is a big server it is a big computer combination of lots of ram lots of hard drive and we can say it as a big motherboard combination of capacitors and a lot of things inside but just make sure that the server requirement is different for one server like 960 watt is fine but if you have another server 700 watt is fine but if you have a switch it's 250 guys remember uh, just the uh, Remember that that 250 is the most common watt for the switch router for modem. I think I can say it is 100 watt because modem does not require too many things. And for a storage devices, for example, uh, SAN, a storage area network, for 80 watt. General, you need 2390 watt in order to have very stable. For example, if you have a two two servers, one switch, one storage device or SAN or whatever you name it. General, you need to purchase 2390 watt APC unit or UPS. So, when you search on a Google, you can find a diversity of the APC unit with the same amount that you're looking for. But I do have another, uh, the most accurate one. This is come from APC unit, and <clears throat> this is the APC unit. It, it calls IT server rack. So, in general, I mentioned that we have two types of rack. What types of? We have a network rack and we have a server rack as well. Guys, remember that. You have a one router. Do you have a one router? If you say yes, the one router, the minimum requirement is 100 watt. Remember that. These are the most accurate. This is the accurate. This is the server room. This is not the tradition. This is not 
the computer that you have on the desk. This is the server room. For the router, 100 watt. For server, you need 500 watt, the most accurate for the server to keep, to, to have a very stable server. You just need to make sure there's a 500 watt. For switch, 250. For another switch, 250. Load, 1100 watt. General, how many you need? 1,375 watt. Guess what? So I need your attention in here. So 80% if your APC unit is overload, that is fine. Over eight, over over 80% load on your APC unit. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna mess up. Soon you will notice the battery is dead and you need to replace the battery because there's a too much, it's overload. One time, two times, it's okay, but every day for one year in a row, I'm sure you're gonna definitely break up that APC unit as well. Okay, and then uh, let's uh, do some calculation as well. This, this is gonna be very helpful. All right, here is how I calculate whenever I purchase a new server or if I get any project, a data center or server room from scratch, what I'm going to do. Here's the thing, guys. Since we already noticed that the amount of, you put this one in the middle, I will leave this one here. This is how we can calculate. So how many, so this is how, for example, we have, we can say site A. Uh, site A server room. So this is site, this is our site A server room. The guy is trying to, he has already, I can say order servers, switches, routers, wireless LAN or wireless controller, vice over IP, as uh, controller so on but this is the device this guy has let's add one modem as well one modem because modem is necessary let's make it two modem uh two modem because uh, for uh, residency high availability so this is what we need to know all right so let's see how we can calculate i have a 10 server so the amount of server which we need is a 500 watt so let's say 500 multiply by 10. How much what I need for these 10 server? 5,000, remember that. I need one, two, three, 5,000 watt, remember that. So I need 5,000 watt. All right, so for switch, how many switch I have? Overall, I have about five switch is 250 250 multiplied by five equal to 125 so i need one 120 uh, uh yeah one 1250 1250 watt for my switches now for the router since it is for i told you guys that there is no difference between router and switch for the corporate for the corporate, I'm telling you, for the corporate, for enterprise uh, network design, 250 is also good for the um, Cisco routers as well. But so far, let's pick 100 for the router based on the diagram that we have in here. If you go with the same amount of measuring when you do the switch, you can do with the router. That's also fine. But let's see. So for four router, I need 400 watt. I can say 400 watt. That is 400. Yeah, because each router 100 and four router 400. 400 watt. I need 400 watt. Wireless, uh, wireless uh, local area network access point, or we can say access point, or we can say wireless controller as well. Uh, so let's name it. Uh, overall, it's 85. I can say 120 is also good. Since I have uh, one hour spine, I would say it is uh, 120 watt for this one. For modem, for modem, I will add uh, 120 watt as well. It's the more watt you have, the better it will be. So uh, here's the same wireless uh, voice over IP controller. Don't forget that we have a PoE power over Ethernet. For this one, I need. Uh, I need 1000 watt because remember that wireless controller 
or voice over IP controller PV power over Ethernet. Remember that even though if you have a wireless access point which is power over Ethernet and you want to generate the power for those access points which is pointed in different places, remember that you need to have enough watt for them because that switch itself, that specific device, requires enough electricity for itself and then to distribute the amount of the, uh, electricity for the entire device such as wireless access point, cordless phone or we can say wireless phone or even if it is like voice over IP whether it's used wire or wireless. Alright so this is how we can calculate. Let's sum up and see how much is in general I need for this specific server room. Uh, 5000 plus uh, 1250 plus 400 plus 120 plus 120 plus 1000. All right, so overall in total, I need you can say total, I need about seven eight nine two watts, seven thousand eight hundred. 90 watts so these are the minimum requirement guys remember that these are the minimum requirement now what I'm going to do what I'm going to do as a technical person I start searching on the Google APC unit or UPS so APC is a brand uh, generally we search by UPS but APC is a brand where it helps it these uh, APC is also uh, provide a rack size uh, we can say rack size UPS remember that the, 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 the UPS which is mount which is easy to mount in your racks that is important don't go for a small UPS because that's not a standard for the server room so you need to have a rack size just give me one second let me all right if you look at this diagram in here UPS look at the UPS here here is the UPS. So this is called the rack mount size APC or UPS unit. All the time remember that you have to have this kind of this size of the APC unit. You can find another one, the short. We can say dip UPS. That's also good. You can go for short dips AP, uh, UPS as well. It doesn't matter. But for the server room, this is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to have. For uh, I have seen some. Uh, I can say. Wall mount UPS and we, we can see wall mount enclosure UPS. That's also fine, but uh, my plan was to explain how to do this in your rack or in, in your server room. All right, I think uh, it's almost 12 minutes, but no worries. These are very Im important information. Guys, if you think this information was very helpful, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, uh, share this information with your colleagues, with your friends, with whoever you think. They are pursuing this kind of information. Until next time, let's say, say, be brave. And of course, see you guys.